It has met opposition every step of the way, and a plan now to put power lines through Maryland using eminent domain it still is on the table. A showdown over the project is expected at a public hearing tomorrow in Pilesville, and WMER 2 News' Jeff Hager has more on what's at stake. The promise is to build some bigger and better power lines, bringing cheaper electricity here to Maryland. But farmers say it would come at the price of their property rights. They are the backbone of the power delivery system, dissecting farms here along the Maryland-Pennsylvania state line. But plans to erect two more are too many for farmers here. You can see how many lines there are around here, though. Baron Shaw's orchards date back to the 1830s and span 250 acres here in Whitehall. Of two dozen potential routes for the Transource Energy's power line, it chose one that would run right through his property. So that's why the state of Maryland has already submitted testimony that says that they're opposed to it. All of them, to, to a T, all of them have agreed that it's unnecessary and that it ignores existing infrastructure. The company behind the project would use two proposed lines to carry cheap electricity from Pennsylvania through Maryland to help ease a projected load on the region's power grid in the years to come. The critics say its real goal is to connect with deep-pocketed customers in the nation's capital and Northern Virginia. When we give the right to corporate companies to condemn farmers' land and open space land for profit, this whole North is in trouble. It's a fight for the North, but it affects our open space land and farmers across the Bay, Montgomery County, all the way through. That means cutting through Shaw's Orchard, where people flock for the experience of picking their own fruit. And for Greg Goss, who owns a preserved farm 20 miles to the north in York County, the stakes are even higher. There's one building right safe for my son. Because of this line, I'm unable to build that farm or that homestead for my son. It will change, it will effectively, effectively cancel the dreams that I have and my son has because of this line. While the company has promised cheaper electricity here in Maryland, critics say it would amount to about a dollar per customer, hardly worth the price of dozens of family farms. Reporting in Harford County, Jeff Hager, WMAR 2 News.